Last week, the New York City Health and Hospitals Board of Directors unanimously approved the resolution to rename this campus as the New York City Health and Hospitals South Brooklyn Health. And our inpatient hospital, which will be comprised of the new 350,000 square foot building and the existing tower building, will be named the Ruth Bader Ginsburg Hospital after the late United States of America. This is a Brooklyn moment. Uh, yes. I'm just gonna feel my Brooklyn feelings right now, everyone, because we are celebrating one of the greatest Brooklynites of all time. And we're celebrating in a Brooklyn way. Everybody together, talking about ways we're going to help people. We're going to make sure that everyone who needs health care gets it. Uh, it is an honor to be here today. My family and I were moved when we learned that the inpatient hospital of the New York City Health and Hospitals South Brooklyn Health Campus would, join, would be named after my grandmother, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And I was proud as a new member of Congress in 2013 to work with Senator Schumer to pass the Superstorm Sandy Relief Bill that included in it the FEMA money which provided this new hospital with $923 million to create a state of the art facility. And it couldn't be named after a more appropriate person my great-great-grandmother got care here, my grandmother and grandfather, my parents, my siblings, we all multiple generations got care here. And I think the South Brooklyn name captures that we love Coney Island, but we're more than Coney Islands. Uh, as Svetlana, another South Brooklyn person has said, uh, right, we, we are a big catchment area. Um, so I love the new name and of course, being able to honor the great justice is just amazing. And I think it's everything that Health and Hospitals wants to be and is, a place for everybody that seeks to care for everybody regardless of their background.